All right, my friends, we are back with the Y Max at screen. So we are customizing our own game system setup. That's right. All we need is this screen and some other things. So what we're gonna do is we have this box. It was originally for a Game Boy game and we completely customized it. We took everything out, it's a hard metal box. And we're gonna be setting this up as a portable game system setup with this. That is completely ran off grid. So to make this work, we are going to be using two power banks. We have a 100 watt strong power bank here. And then we have this power bank that also has solar panels that are removable if we need to remove them. So they just pop right on and off. So we're gonna see how we wanna set this up. The screen is gonna be over here. So we're gonna have the screen mounted right up in here. Um, this is gonna be a accessory area. So basically we can lay out our solar panels when we need to, and this is gonna house some other stuff as well. So we need to fully customize this to make it work. So for this to work, what we need to do is we gotta make sure everything is set up before. So we need to make sure that our cables are going to work how we want it. So as you guys can see, that's not gonna work. So we're gonna put it this way and run our cables down in here. Um, we might end up getting a smaller cable. We will have to see. So we actually may not need this power bank. Um, we'll set up another solar type setup. We might even just install a panel. That's a type C panel on top here. Uh, that way when it's closed, it's charging. So that will be pretty cool if we set it up that way. And this will give us some more room down in here. Now all this is digital displayed. So we're gonna actually put it this way. So we can actually press the button and read our battery level right on there. So maybe set it evenly just so it's more clean looking. And what we're doing is this is a HDMI game set. So this has games on it. And all we need to do is plug this into our screen. However, our screen doesn't have a large HDMI port. So we went ahead and bought this adapter so it's large HDMI to mini. And what we'll do is basically you plug this into here and this into our monitor. And then this for power gets plugged into a USB port, which would be right in here. And this takes power from it now, just like that. And with this power bank, we can press the button to turn everything on. And we can also press the button to turn everything off. So that way, um, nothing's drawing power when it's not supposed to be drawing power. We make sure we have ultimate power. We're doing type C to type C. So we're just gonna place our type C cable right in here. And this is gonna give our monitor some good old power. As you guys can see right here, that gives our monitor power. Okay, so it looks like we had it plugged into the wrong one. Uh, we went ahead and plugged it into the second one and now the screen's staying on. So we're gonna go ahead and keep playing with this for a little bit. But we now got the screen set up and the game is set up and everything's running how it's supposed to be running. So we know it works. So let's go ahead if we can power this off. Okay, so we know powering everything off, it powers it off except it came back on. So we may have to, let's see if we hold this here. Okay, so just powering it off only powered that off. We're gonna have to hook up a type C switch onto this, or we could leave room and just disconnect. We'll have to see. All right, instead of drilling, we are using double-sided tape for the back of our monitor. This is gonna allow us to place the monitor where we want. And if by emergency we need to take it out, we can easily pop it out and it's not going to ruin our monitors. So, all right guys, so 
this barely fit on i mean we had to bend that pretty good to get it on and i needed a all right, so I needed a little gap here to up the volume or brightness. I forget what that button is. There is a head jack over the, here as well. Uh, I thought if I ever wanted to add a, a external speakers, I could drill a hole and plug in right through there if I need to. For right now, uh, this is definitely good. So we got everything set up here that we need. Um, and now we just got to plug in the power for the monitor uh these cables are way too long so i'm definitely going to invest in shorter cables um, as far as this cable this one shouldn't be too hard to get in for the power well i mean i i guess that's pretty tight as well all right guys we are done so, well we're done as far as we got the screen on got everything set up with a power bank um Obviously, we still got some more stuff we want to do in here, but for the most part, we're done. And we lay this down for protection of the screen while it's closed. So just like this, guys, fully portable, just like that. So guys, as you can see, awesome, awesome system here. Now we just got to play with everything, set up some on-off switches. So, um, yeah, this screen is awesome for do-it-yourself. I mean, as you guys see, a lot. And it's crisp and clear, too, so the camera can't do justice. <laughs>